Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the News in 5. Um, I'm not even going to do an intro or anything like that. I am so pissed off that I'm just going to go right into the story that I want to share with you. And if this doesn't piss off every single South African in South Africa, I don't know what will. Joburg girl, three years old, dies after breathing machine reportedly could not function due to load shedding. Yeah, three-year-old girl, gone. The ANC does not give a damn about the South African people. You really need to let that sink in and you need to share this video with everyone you know because this is unacceptable. And here's the thing, guys. As horrible as this might be, unfortunately, this little girl is not the only one to have been killed due to load shedding. Government must pay for deaths. Staff can't resuscitate all patients when lights go out. Patients are dying at state hospitals because of load shedding and doctors are forced to make terrible choices over who lives and dies. Doctors have to make this choice now. Doctors have to be the grim reapers. Even though they've taken an oath where they have to make sure that they do everything possible to save a life. I'm paraphrasing the oath. But it goes on. Clinic load shedding blamed for death. And in this situation, a 35-year-old went to the hospital because she was complaining about stomach cramps. And the hospital couldn't help her because of load shedding. Here, another one. Power cuts destroyed her soul. Teen dies after appealing for solar-powered oxygen to stay alive. An 18-year-old has died from lung failure. She has been on oxygen support since she was 15 years old. Her family says every time there was a power cut, she had to be rushed to the hospital. Yeah, so load shedding. <laughs> on top of the huge crime crisis that we have at the moment, load shedding is also adding to the deaths in South Africa, where over 80 people a day already die in South Africa, in case you didn't know that. And the one thing I want to leave you with, right, is this is a message to all these people out here in South Africa that don't understand that ESCOM is a state-owned enterprise, okay? State-owned. That means the state owns this enterprise, okay? That means the ANC is in control of this enterprise, okay? And if ESCOM is failing, the ANC is failing, do not fall for the propaganda that Cyril is doing everything he can to fix it. He's not. And day by day, as the seconds go by, right now, while you're watching this video, someone could be suffering because there is load shedding somewhere in South Africa and the hospital cannot provide power. Let that sink in. Like I said at the beginning of this video, you should be pissed off. What's it going to take, South Africa? Hmm? When are you going to be hutful enough? Huh? When are you going to say enough is enough? When there's a total grid collapse? And don't tell me it isn't happening because they're talking about it. Even Cyril says stupid things like, oh, well, when there's a total grid collapse, South Africans will be the first to know. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Thank you, Captain Obvious. But let me tell you something. If you're waiting for that day, or if you think that day isn't going to happen, which it will, it'll be too late. It'll be too late to fix anything. And this country will go into absolute chaos. Being a recent father, I, I, have, I can't imagine what this family is going through, what these families are going through. And my heart goes out to them, my deepest condolences. And really, I mean that. The ANC is to blame for all of this. That's the truth, and it's time we did something about it.